for that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, chat, for the update. Thank you! I love you so much. I miss I you so much. I love you so much. Look at this little face. How are you? I'm actually, I'm phenomenal. How are you? I'm fantastic. How's the city of Townsville treating you? The city of Townsville is great. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, can do, I, can, I can do the whole intro. I can what? word for word, verbatim. I can give you the whole intro. Oh my God, do it. Do it right now. Uh, is, is right now the time? Okay, no, maybe not. Oh, okay. do it. Please do it. I want it. Sugar, spice, nice. and everything nice. These are the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Yordonian added an extra ingredient to the concoction, chemical X, and thus the top of girls were born using their ultra superpowers, blossom bubbles and buttercup, dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil. And then when, when I tell you we get into this L.A. noir, that right there was my childhood. Guys. First of all, that was phenomenal. I didn't know I needed that this morning. But second of all, how hard does it go? When you revisit it as an adult, you're like, this goes crazy. Pop of girls are lit. <laughs> yeah, it's, no. It's <laughs> Historically, <great>. lit. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, truly, at the end of the day. You got Mojo Jojo. Come on. The oh, dynamic come is on. Pack it Dub, I think most importantly, uh, especially for our conversation today, you and I have some other fun stuff that we can catch up on um, another time. But but I know that our time here is limited. We're we're really guys chat. We're only going to be here for just a few minutes. Um, so just you know, thank you for your time. Please stick around if you can. Um, if you have any direct questions, uh, I'm not going to start like a Q and A kind of thing. But just throw them down there, and if I see them, then uh, I'll do my best to answer. But Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, beautiful organization. If any of you have gone to the theater sometime during the spring um, or later in the year as well, so, um, like, like late, late fall even, uh, sometimes we'll, we'll do some, some different events and things, which is really great. But the, what, what, what we're typically used to in the world of theater is we have a season of time, right, where you go to the theater, you sign in, you do the show, you suspend people's reality for two and a half hours. And in the end, we all come on, we do our curtain call the bell, and we ask everybody to sit down. <laughs> yes. And then someone that signed up on that Monday, or I'm sorry, that, that Sunday, the week prior, has their day and it's dedicated. They step forward and they say, all right, all right, hi guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the show. These little red buckets and some different auction items come out and uh, we talk about this beautiful organization, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, which I think that uh, there is a common misconception that this organization only takes care of those of us that are in the industry. Mind you, or within, specifically, more specifically within Broadway, and mind you, guys, we work in a service industry, right? Like that's, that's what we do and, and we love it. You know, I, I can speak for myself and I feel like I, our, our, our 10 years of friendship, I could probably speak for you as well and that you love what you do. We're thrilled to be able to create and build um, and and live lives where we get to wake up happy and go to bed happy. And, and uh, man, there are a lot of people that can't do that. There are people that are struggling with life-threatening illnesses, people that can't pay their rent, especially over the course of the, the lack of sustainability over 2019, 2020, into 2021. Um, People are people are, are freaking out. People are trying are fleeing. People are going where they can survive. Literally getting out of the place that they have their community and their circles and things because they literally don't have the opportunity that they need to be able to sustain. And Gilead Sciences is um, actually helping us out a lot with this challenge that we're about to talk about. Uh, Broadway Cares Every Fight Aids is gathered a handful of us together. Me, Eric Vate. Let me make sure I get everybody here. Uh, Jenna, I love, I love her. She's wonderful. Ushkowitz, I think from Glee, you all know her, right? Uh, Eric Tavay, Jason Alexander, Catherine Gallagher, who's, who's just a gem. I absolutely adore her. Um, Eric McCormick, uh, we, they've banded us all together to do what we can to get people to try to convince people to open up their minds and their hearts and their wallets <laughs> <laughs> to be as helpful as, as humanly possible in Gilead Sciences is actually uh, matching these donations up to a million dollars. So you donate a dollar, bam, it's two dollars, really. You donate 20, it's 40. Donate 100, it's 200, so on and so forth uh, to help people sustain 
right now. And uh, every every dollar means the world. And the, like, for me personally, here's the thing that I think about that gets me really excited. Think about like, in, when I think about like a, some semblance of normality, something that I would like love to get back to is literally just having my routine in New York. Like, do you, don't you miss that just waking up and knowing that you have a show to do that night and the theater. Oh my god, to and... so much. And I mean, mostly, I feel like my number one thing that I miss so much about, um, I mean, the Broadway community is just the community aspect. Like, it's such That's a, um, you know, like a. There's such a familial team, family, group mentality that mm -hmm. is so healing, is so important, is so. Uh, I think really truly how humans are meant to work like that's yeah. that's like my big thing when i'm not doing stage work i really miss that feeling yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It, it's a it's it's a thing i think i've told you this before um it's a quote that i live by and i'm i'm pretty sure denzel said it and i and i always say that and that's how i kind of initiate this quote but tv and film pays the bills and broadway pays the soul mm. I yeah that. i have heard you say that before and it's it's perfect for all of the reasons why we we go back to the stage, right? It's that electric, magical thing that happens. It, it's that it's that kind of social intercourse between the people that are on the stage and the people that are in the audience, and what happens in that very unique space in a very unique time, in the way where that. It doesn't matter who you are. You you're never even if you see, if you see the, the same show every night, all eight performances in that week, you're not gonna see the same show eight times that week, and that's an incredible thing to me. I mean, like I feel like there's so much dynamically that happens during a two and a half hour period that is is so magical that you can't get anywhere else. Like you simply can't. And f filming is fun. I mean, we're doing it, you know. We're, I like that. Filming is fun. It's great, uh, you know. It's artistically stimulating. It's it's captivating. It's the same thing, and it lives, and it lives for forever, right? It's, just, it's a totally different type of, of, of art form um, that I will always love and I will always appreciate. But Broadway theater will always be my favorite. I'm gonna sit and I try to like take inventory and dilute it down to you know the more finite things that. I, I, I can't put my finger on one thing that makes it to me so much so much more intimate and better and just more grand than everything else. But um, it is it is a magical thing. And again, you know, our theaters have been shut down for over a year. So imagine some Tony Award winning and nominated people that that, you know, all of a sudden need to go into real estate, you know, leave the city that they've lived in for the last 15 years because they just can't. Yeah, no, it's they can't it's, pay their bills. It, yeah. It's so it's heartbreaking. I think when theater eventually comes back, it's going to be incredibly healing. Um, it's going to mm -hmm. be such an important thing. Like, I mean, I think that live performance is just such a it's a there's there's such a human thing, right? Like, there's nothing else like it. Um, when you have, like you said, you said social intercourse, which I've never heard anybody say that, but I think that's so true. There's like a, there's a communion that happens right between the performers and the audience and. Yeah. I've never, I, I have my life changed on the regular by many different art forms, but like, I'm sure that you know exactly what I'm saying. I'm sure a lot of people watching this know exactly what I'm saying. But like, when you go and you see a show, uh, you know, touring show on Broadway, anything, I, I've had more like personal, um, like renaissance moments um, in the audience. <laughs> of a show like that and you leave and you're forever changed. Like there's just nothing quite, quite like it because you can go and you can watch your favorite movie over and over again. But that experience that you have that one night mm -hmm. is yours exclusively and lives, lives here and in your nervous system. And I just think that, you know, there's, there's been so much that's been impacted by the virus and by the pandemic. Um, I think that when eventually Broadway's back in full swing, we're going to value that feeling, that connection, that experience, and more so than ever before, you know? Absolutely. And safely, safely and with, uh, with, with the revitalized 
sense of appreciation for all of the little things that lead us to our seats in those theaters. You know, I think that it's 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 going to be the routine of all of it. It's that that that's so magical. Getting ready with your partner, with your friend, you know, getting ready to link up with a with a homie or two to grab a drink before you walk to the theater and you get there and you get your playbill and you get situated. You probably see a friend or two at the theater. You sit down. Orchestra starts warming. I mean, oh, it's, don't. It, it is, it is, <laughs> but, but I, but I think that we need that sense of, we, we need that thing, you know, we yeah. need that sense of revitalizing and, you know, and, and silver lining, you know, yeah, it, it sucks. Like it, it really, people, a lot of, a lot of people, friends of mine have really, really struggled over the course of this last year with man, like we all are holding on to the silver lining of how magical is it? Like it's going to be the most, I mean, it, it'll be historic. It'll be historic. We haven't had opportunities like this for shows to turn themselves upside down and for people to, you know, remember why they do what they do and love what they love to do and, and whatnot. And Dub, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I know you've, you've, you've got a crazy day today. Um, but I, I just appreciate you giving us your heart and helping people get excited. Guys, go to broadwaycares.org. This is so important. This is actually the most important. I'm going to type it in right here, as a matter of fact, so everybody can see it. Broadway Cares. Hi, Camry. Broadwaycares.org <laughs> forward slash. My days just joined. Uh, forward slash Jordan. There it is. Forward Broadway. Jordan. There it is. Broadway area. No, Broadway Cares. Mm -hmm dot org forward slash Jordan. There it is. We're gonna get that right there. I'm gonna pin this guy right here. You can see that. Again, chat, a dollar, two dollars, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand, million, whatever it is that you don't share the link. Yeah. Share please, please share the link. Every every daughter every daughter. Every daughter counts. Every daughter counts too. Every daughter. <laughs> truly every daughter. Hey, and and son. Hey, every daughter and son counts. Yes. And dollar. Every daughter and son counts. Uh huh. And dollar. Uh, again, Gilead Sciences will match up to a million dollars. So do bear that in mind, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Dub, I love you. I love you so Cheers. much. I love you and, and your big, wonderful. beautiful heart. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. It's just so great to see someone with your everything your energy your soul your spirit how you treat people how you work all of the things just to, to see you shine is the most exhilarating thing in the world you and know i feel the exact same about you i think you are just an angel on earth i love you so much thank you for having me and waking up early for me <laughs> yes i yes. love you i'll see you so soon i'm I love so you. proud Sounds of you great. thank you i appreciate you appreciate you